Hi there, my name's Andy Sykes, otherwise known as Hexjibber. I'm a award-winning animator and I also teach flash animation in universities and colleges here in the UK. This is my website, hexjibber.com, and uh, here's the lesson. Hi, welcome to my in-depth lesson on drawing with the paintbrush tool. First off, let's select the paintbrush tool, like so. And there's lots of options that you've got down here in properties. You can see that we've got something called smoothing down here. Now what's smoothing? When you're drawing a line you can either have it, uh, you can have flash simplify it for you so it takes up less space, it has fewer points on it, it's a more efficient line, or you can have flash leave it alone so it's a more kind of sketchy and detailed line. I normally have my smoothing on 25 which is a happy medium between um, too much smoothing and not enough. But if we dial it all the way up to 100, let's see what it looks like. So if I draw a line like so, you can see that it smooths it out quite a lot. That isn't really the line that I drew, that's a sort of super simplified version of it. Equally, if I dial it down to zero, start drawing, you can see it's very faithful to the line that I drew. But I tend to find it's nice to have a bit of smoothing on so that you don't get jagged edges at the edge of your line, like so. So if I stick it on 25, again, that's how I like to work, but you can make up your own mind about what sort of lines you like. Next up, there are some more options down here. I'll just zoom in on that. When you're drawing, you get this brush mode option. When you click that, you've got all these different options for how you might be painting. Paint normal, paint fills, paint behind. And I'll just explain how those work because they can be really useful when you're drawing. Zoom back out again. If I draw a shape, like so, um, and I'm going to fill that in with a paint bucket, so I've got a nice sort of orb. If I want to draw something going sort of behind this shape, then I can use paint behind. If I click on my paintbrush tool here and select, select instead of paint normal, I'm going to paint behind. I'm going to change the color to help illustrate this. So I've changed it to sort of, I don't know what that color is called. Um, and I'm going to draw a line all the way through this shape. Now when I let go, watch what happens. It disappears behind that shape. So you actually get two completely different shapes. You get one on one side one on the other. It's a good way of drawing behind something without having to be super precise about it. But what if I wanted to draw something that was just inside this shape? How would I do that? Well first off I'd have to click on that shape so that I was telling Flash that this was the shape that I wanted to be drawing inside. Click on my paintbrush tool and instead of paint behind I'm going to paint selection. So. Now if I draw outside like this and then inside, it will only have the bit that I drew inside the selection that I made. So that's a good way of drawing inside objects. Equally you can use the paint inside option to do exactly the same thing. So in order to use that you have to start off drawing inside the object because if you start off outside then it won't work. So paint selection and paint inside, in this example, are doing exactly the same thing. Um, what if I had this fill and I stuck a stroke on it and I only wanted to affect the fill, and not the stroke with the painting that I was doing. So if I draw using paint normal like that, I'll interrupt the stroke so it gets a split in the middle and I'll interrupt the fill. And that's not really what I wanted. I just wanted to paint inside the fill. So in order to do that, click on my paintbrush and go to paint fills. There we go. So if I now scribble all over this stroke, oh dear, what's going on? And you'll see that my stroke remains completely intact. So if I wanted to trim the fat from the outside, that's completely separate, strokes unaltered, 
So that's a way of not interrupting strokes or drawing over strokes with your paintbrush. They're quite subtle options, but they're really, really useful for drawing. Have a go yourself, and I'll see you next time. Hey, if you've enjoyed this lesson, why not consider checking out my website, hexjibber.com, where you can also buy my book, The Hexjibber Colouring and Activity Book. You can buy it in the UK, US, Germany, France, Japan, from Amazon and other good stores.